What's up my beautiful people? Good day. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. Alright guys, so I'm going to be sharing a Learn With Me series where I'll, where I'll come and you know practice what I've been learning. So I have passion for hair, for hair making and hair in general. And so I decided to go and enroll myself as an apprentice in my friendship to learn how this salon thing works, right? And so one of the things that he has been teaching me lately is how to ventilate and i didn't even know how difficult it is until i started practicing so going online to search for ventilating videos to see if that will make it easier i saw some things on the comment under the comment section that really you know gave me the idea to start filming my practical i noticed from under the comment section that a lot of people are also struggling saying that they can do it that it seems so difficult and which was exactly how i felt in fact i even said to my god that i can't do this <laughs> that is difficult not for me and he said one thing i should take out of my mind is fear and all of that so yeah i'm glad that he pushed me to you know to keep trying i've been trying and failing but yeah it gets better right so i decided to you know start filming my practicals of course it's not only going to be ventilating video it to be any other thing that i learn relating to um hair i will come and i'll film the practical with you guys after learning there i'll come home and i'll practice and when i practice i will film the video so that if you are struggling with any of these things you can come down and see me struggling maybe to motivate you to pick up your own <laughs> and see me practicing rather maybe to me motivate you to you know practice as well because once you're starting any new thing it always feels awkward if you're not used to it it's awkward at, it's awkward at the start but once you get the hang of it it becomes easier and you won't you won't know if you will get used to it unless you keep practicing and keep practicing in fact he was right there's nothing you can actually do if you keep practicing look at me saying as if i'm, I'm a professional I am not but i believe <laughs> i believe that i can get it so one thing you will need is a net this net i bought this one this one was longer like this is half of this this particular net i had to cut it in half so that if i mess up the first half i'll just discard it like if i put too much hole in it and all of that and which the first half i've already done rubbish on it and so thank god i have this second one to fall back on starting off you don't need any fancy thing you just need um something small like this to you know practice until you get the hang of it before you buy your your full lace or your full um net and all of that so you will need a mannequin head now the mannequin head that he was using to teach me is darker this one obviously unless you have a sharp eyesight it will be difficult kind of difficult to see this one properly so for that reason you will need like a colored something colored paper or nylon like this one that you will place on it to make it easier to work with i'm going to be showing all, the, all these things as i'm doing it remember that i'm here to practice so, so <laughs> my explanation if you watch from the professional first and then just come here and practice in fact if you see me struggling you might feel like what is this one doing so if i can do better and then you grab your your ventilating pin and you start doing it so this is my own ventilating pin there are different versions that i've seen online uh from from ventilating videos but this is the one that i have I hope you can see how it looks and for a start i'm not going to use any fancy hair this is my old attach that i combed out so that if i mess it up i will not feel bad so don't use your expensive weave on yet just get attachment or anything old one is okay so again you will need a chair like this back so my husband had helped me to discover this setting and i love it right it makes like when you're ventilating and you feel tired you can just relax like this i am not a pro yet pro advise you to sit like this and ventilate so that your back does not pain you but yeah we are still <laughs> we are getting there by god's grace 
all right so let's get started So now that I am ready to ventilate, professionals will advise you to hold your your hair in a certain way. But what I, what I find easy for me is holding it over my thumb like that, right? This is what I found easy for me. So you can choose to copy exactly what they are telling you or you can choose to find figure out a position that works best for me this is how i was taught and i've tried holding it the professional way that i've seen on youtube but it doesn't work for me that way so you might try it this way if that way does not work for you another thing that i like to do is to grab as much hair as i want as much as possible and i'm going to tell you why <laughs> you know that um sometimes when you try to pass it you will not be able to pass um you would you will not be able to pass it through when you grab a lot of hair and you're trying to pass it through no how no how you'll be able to pass at least two or three and that will help you feel excited i think i'm, I'm a little better now last week i really i wish i filmed this video last week you would have seen exactly what i what i meant this week i improved a little you can even see that i'm passing it through which is somehow somehow <laughs> but yeah that's how i started packing a lot I, I started packing a lot of hair because i feel like no how no how one or two hair will be able to pass through the hole and that will give my brain a boost of you know happiness or something encouragement sort of right so you can either choose to do that or you can pick at least two or three hair at a time whichever feels normal for you another thing is how you hold your 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 pin it's easy to hold the pin as if you're writing right so that you can easily rotate it anyhow that you want and don't be afraid that the hair will not pass that was another thing that really made the work a lot harder for me that that period the initial time that i started it the initial time that i started um practicing this don't be afraid the hair there's a hook the hook has a hook <laughs> in my next week video this video was rushed i woke up around four and i was supposed to, pre to prepare for church i decided to just film this video sharp sharp so it was rushed but next week video i'll try and show the things that i've said in this video it, the things that i've just said now so don't be afraid whether the hair is going to pull out if it pulls out fine but don't be afraid because the hook has a little hook inside that helps to you know hook the the hair so that when you bend it under when you bend it under trying to pass the hair the hair will not fall out right that's how you see that those professionals they are like super fast put in and put out like that as if it's that easy it's because they know that the hair is not going to fall out okay and don't be intimidated because i'm sure those professionals they started somewhere too <laughs> so we are all here to learn there's no judgment if you have anything that you wish to add please comment that down in this in the comment section if there's anything that you wish to see also please let me know in the comment section as well next week we are going to see how fast i have become how fast i've become because now that i've said this i'll really try and make out time to practice more so next week we're going to see how fast and next week i'll try practicing i will practice picking two or three hair at a time to see how that goes all right so if you're done for it sis why not come back next week by this time next week let's practice one more
thank you so much for watching i'm sorry for the for this lengthy video the rest is not going to be as long as this trust me is the little intro which was necessary that took us this much time but thank you so much for watching i will see you all in the next video which is next week